You see who just pulled up on the drama album? You already know it's your boy Joel Santana. Had to come through, support my boy, and of yeah. course, the legendary DJ K Slate. R.I.P. Drama Hour. Stay tuned. Tap in. Yeah, Harlem to Brooklyn. Live and direct. Listen, man. As promised, y'all already know what it is, man. We live on that drama hour. As I told y'all, I'm bringing nothing but the authentic on this show, man. Listen, man. He don't really need no introduction, man. We got a New York City legend in the building. You know what I'm saying? He got that new weed strain in the street. I can't feel my face, man. Hey, hey. Hey, look, man. Talk oh, to the man. people, man. No, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, <laughs> my guy. Bringing Come on, me up. bro. You already know I had to I had to have you on the show, man. To this, this legendary and, and just... For one, I want to say I'm proud of what you're doing. Just, Thank you, know you bro. I mean? you, Thank you, man. Carrying this 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 joint, I mean, for your not only what your brother, man. You know what I'm right, saying, right. K was your brother. Everybody, everybody fuck with K. Everybody loved K, but that was that was your brother. You know what I mean, we all saw nah, that. So man. for you to be carrying this joint like that and just, you know what I'm saying, nah, bro, doing something bro. that I know he'll he'll be proud of. You know what I mean, yeah, man. Along with anything else you've been doing, you know what I'm saying. So it's dope, man. It's dope. I had to come up here. Nah, and, I appreciate you, know, you, man, coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it says a lot, man. Makes a statement, P-K, man. R I P K Slay, man. Hey, listen, we got Harlem in the building, man. Aight, aight. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I want to take it back a little bit, man, because, <clears throat> and and I always talk about this with, especially with with guys like yourself, man, who I know mm. come from that that um that era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what was it like, man? Because the, all the all the ghettos are gentrified across America, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it. it's a different Harlem now, man. So, so what was it like growing up in Harlem, bro? It was, it was special. It was a special time, man. When we were coming up, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, lot of. I mean, the, despite the the wildness that was going on, the drugs, the drug dealing, the, you know what I mean, the same crazy shit, but it was law and order. You know what I'm saying, mm. amongst it was a lot of respect amongst the community. Right. You know what I'm saying, so, so, you know, even though it was a lot of bad things going on, I think it was like. Way better than the way it is now, I should say. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then the fact of just like it was a lot of money in Harlem. You know what I'm saying so the times was just good. You know, it was, it was drug money, of course, but you know, I seen this joint right, and mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I I I seen this. So it was just something that was on Instagram. It was this girl. She was like, man. We gotta bring back the OGs, the hustlers, man, because it's like the scammers just fucked everything up, man. <laughs> it's like they just got money. It's like you knew the drug dealers was doing bad, but they was giving back to the community. That's they was fact. helping. They were doing a whole lot. It was like That's you know, fact. it just turned once the scammers just got free money and just ain't. You know what I mean, just mm-hmm. threw it in niggas' face, really. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, you know, but wow. that was Harlem. You know, a beautiful time. You know, it, it was definitely a point where you had to come to Harlem. You know what I mean? It's not so much like that no more. Mm. But it was a point in time where New York City, if you came into New York City you had to come to Harlem even if you lived in New York City you had to come to Harlem to either get your weed mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying get your your fresh clothes like on 45th and Broadway 120, right. 25th Street 125th was popping you know what I'm saying things of that nature so Harlem it, it, it always just been a special place and to live there you know what I'm saying it, it, it was super dope you know what I'm saying so I'm definitely that that you know I could say I got my my swag and my you know my mojo from Harlem, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm happy for that. Nah, that's for that, sure. That's real, man. Yeah. I feel like where we from, man, it contributes to making us who we are. You know what I'm saying? Like facts, without, facts. without Brooklyn, I don't I don't think I would be the person I am today. Facts. The good and the bad. Hey, you, facts. you know what I'm saying? The trials and tribulations. So that's why I always I always ask that question, man. Um, I feel like in our culture, we quick to say who fell off, you know what I'm saying, and who didn't, but we never acknowledge those who stayed on their A game. You facts. you one of them guys who and I in, anybody who listen and follow the show, I mm-hmm. always acknowledge the brothers who, who, you know, what I mean, who I feel like carry these these characteristics. I you one of them guys it. who, um, every time I hear you, you know, what I'm saying is you ain't miss a step. I appreciate what that. What do you? Man. Nah, it's real talk. What do you? What that. do you accredit Same with that? You too, Thank you, bro. What do you accredit that longevity to, man? Um, just always wanting to, to like I'm a, I'm a. What do you call that? Perfectionist myself. That's why a lot of my music don't come out. People, one thing, people feel like I'm lazy or whatever, but I make the music. And you just be sitting, everybody tells you <laughs> just, just be, be sitting, sitting right? There. So it's never really like, it's right. not, I'm not lazy. It's just, you know, I always be waiting for these perfect moments and shit like that. Things in my brain that, that, that have, you mean, kind of like hindered me when it comes to certain things. But 
as far as just being lyrically on point, I'm just always practicing. I'm always, you know what I mean, in the gym, like at the booth. You know what I mean, I got a right. studio in my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm never kind of like not doing music. You know what I mean, whether it's, it's coming out, I'm always just, you know what I mean? Right, right. Trying to, trying to be ready. I'm always trying to stay ready for, for if I do come out and when, you know what I mean? when, when, right? when the time comes and, it, and that's the moment, then it, it, it'll still be be what it's supposed to be you know what I'm saying and you know I always try to try to incorporate the the nostalgic Joel Santana but I'm always trying to grow I mean, mm. anybody that's a, 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 a fan of Joel Santana know like Despite the dipset sound, I've always, I mean, reach. I've always the whistle song, Postman. You know what I'm saying, yeah. I've always just tried to, you know I mean, to 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 stay with the time, stay current, but always be who I am. You know what I'm saying, and just and just, you know what I mean, rapping is, is like, it's. I, I love to compete. You know what I'm saying, mm. and I feel like some of my strongest verses is like, even like with Wayne. Wayne, he kind of like bring the best out of me, like, cause mm. it's true. I know. It's a different it It's a different take When you get on a song With somebody That's a fact Let alone a song Like a, a song With somebody like Wayne Shout out to like, Wayne Shout out to Wayne Shout out to my brother man <laughs> So you know It's it's, it's, it's always a, a, a love But like A, a brotherly competition there, You know what I'm saying And if, I'm sure fact. I know he's always Thinking of that Thinking of that Just because of the artistry And the type of artist He is And mm -hmm. I'm always Thinking of that too So you know I'm always ready to spar. Always ready to spar. Nah, that's a fact though, man. I, I, I feel like box. I'm the same way, bro. It's the money Mayweather shit, man. Like yeah. you don't gotta get ready, you stay you ready. Gotta stay ready. And that's um, a fact. this shit, like I would do this shit without lights, camera, action. So I'm always creating. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm always just creating some new shit, regardless of if I'm doing an album or doing a mixtape. Yeah. I'm just keeping my my sword you sharp. To. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and with the fell off shit, like you said, a lot of niggas quick to when they if they don't hear as much from you, they're gonna say you fell off. You know what right. I'm saying? That's before right. you gotta just, okay, falling off doesn't necessarily mean not nice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that I had to learn that too. You know what I'm saying? Just when it comes, it's like yeah. with me. I mean, people, I get that shit sometimes you fall, you watch, like, but it's just really for me, I know what it is. Niggas just want the music, man. They just feel like they're not getting enough music from Joel, so, you know? Yeah, they do, they do. They, the, the fans, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they sometimes... Oh, they, they be on my ass and then the car, <laughs> and they be, sheesh, sheesh. Pause. But it be good, though. It's, it, <laughs> right, it, it's right. It's cool, it's cool. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm, I'm coming, I'm, ba I'm back, back locked and loaded, so I got some... Some real dope shit about to drop. Oh man. yeah, oh hell, I already know. Um, real dope shit, it. man. So definitely real get dope that, shit. Man. Man. Definitely, man. I want to ask you. Better I wanna, late than never. Oh yeah, hell yeah. That's the time. I want to. I want to switch gears a little bit, man, because you you one of those fathers out there who I see active. You know what I'm saying? Um, gotta be. I, I, the best hood is fatherhood. I salute all the real gotta fathers be. out there, man. But yeah. I want I want to ask you a question, right? How old is your oldest? If you don't My mind? oldest son is 19. Okay, yeah. So you you could. You definitely qualify to answer this question. Yeah, I see. What's the difference between raising your child in the early stages of their life and raising a young adult? Oh man! Like for me, for me, it's it's, it's two total different things. No, it it's is. Two, two total I, I different. Want, <laughs> you know I, what I'm I wanted to say it right. Part of me. I wanted okay, to okay. I wanted to say it right. Um, it's a big difference, it's, and it's a total different difference you understand what i'm saying like the kids are they they kids you know what i'm saying they they clingy more you mm, know what i mean it's, when they it's, younger. It's, yeah it's a lot more it's a lot different as they get older you know they start to stray away from you you know what i'm saying and and, and and they start to you know what i mean develop their own personality their own things they got their own friends and their own shit they want to do you know what i'm saying and, and and in this day and age man i think and i think it's just all kids man like i don't know if the world is different but like these kids, they be so quick. They don't appreciate like we appreciate. Mm. I don't know if it's in the DNA of these kids or something like, but it's like like they quick to tell you some wow shit. You be like, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, <laughs> right? I hate you just because they you just ain't get something. There, you know what I mean, mm. like not even like no Chris. So it'd be like, damn, like I wish I just had pops around as much as as much as you know what I'm saying I'm around and, and him right. but but you know a lot of things they'll never understand until they get older and you know just like with us we, we don't really understand that shit till we got older a so. lot of things sometimes you got to touch that stove to, to find out it's hot unfortunately man but you got to be there though like you said you got to be there for your kids man you got you got to be there to teach them no matter what direction you know what I'm saying 
you going as far as you know I mean mother and father you know I mean or the, ch the children that's right you gotta be there you know and i'm saying you can't let nothing in the world affect or or, or or get in between that part of the, the dynamic and the situation of you know what i mean fatherhood like a, a, at all so you know and they need us more than anything like father fatherhood is, is super important and detrimental to our, especially in this fucking day and age man right now nah, real real talk man you know what I'm saying? i always like to ask you know I me mean, real fathers out there who i respect that question yeah. because i feel like um that's where the disconnect happens that it's two different things raising an infant and raising a young adult and one can't prepare you for the other so i feel like when they get a little challenging some some father i, I never make excuses for for you know a deadbeat or whatever you want to call them but i feel like that's where the disconnect happens that like like, like what you just said you, you made a good example no matter what the situation is with you know what I mean with the other parents because I get you it though media. yeah yeah you know no that's a Regardless fact of what but and, 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 and that's crazy let's talk because it's like I definitely get I don't get it I can't say I get it but I see where women done push niggas so far to where it's like they be like you know what I mean for mm -hmm. fuck it you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Or, or, or like a nigga be paying child support So how do you feel about that If you paying child support Should you still be paying And giving your child more Me personally I mean I, I mean, do I, I, I go out yeah, to yeah, that's, what I, that's what I'm saying You understand what I'm saying But it's right. like damn I'm on child support So I do understand mm -hmm, a nigga mm -hmm. So uh, for a nigga that's not doing that I do it because I can I'm sure you do it because you can too You know what I'm saying But mm -hmm. some niggas can't You understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. And the money that's getting taken Out of their child uh, Out of their check Is like, like yo whoa Like all right, that's all I got to give, and it's and it's a decent amount for you to be mm -hmm. be good with and should be good with. So why why do I have to do anything else? You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't right. think that should ever be questioned or not. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's like it's, you got a lot of niggas out here that's like a lot of our niggas is, is fathers. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and, and and they really do the damn thing. You know what I mean? And then and it's like I feel like we definitely get taken for granted when it comes to just like. You know how much we doing, how important we are to the right, kids. Right, you know right, right. I'm saying in, in their life, like you know what I mean, they, mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. But well, I feel like I feel like man, no, no father. You know what I mean? All mothers should be taken for granted. No human being. Period. Um, as far as child support, you know, I feel like whatever is needed for your child, you should supply it, in regardless to whom or what. I hate them situations where that shit gotta happen and it get yeah. ugly, and people start lying and playing games with the money and. Claiming he's not doing what he's doing when he's when the father is really doing. doing. So for those type of situations, I, I can't co-sign that. But yeah. you know what I mean. And, and you know, two reasonable adults, and you know, also the child always comes first. I would just say, man, whatever your child need, provide yeah. that, man. Facts. Provide that because they didn't ask to be here. Facts. You know what I'm saying. So whatever y'all going through, fix that and keep it moving, man. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. No, Good thing now no, they got so. cash app and shit. And the kids can hit you up direct. That's you know a what I'm saying? That's a fact. Even though mommy can still trick that and say ask them for it, but uh -huh, still, you uh -huh. know, for the most part, like shout out the cash app, man. <laughs> you cash know what I'm saying? App. All that stuff, that good stuff. Word, word. Um word. I wanted I wanted to ask you also, bro. Um what you working on, man? You, I know you're doing a yeah. lot of things. You got the I can't feel my face oh, happening. Yeah, we even took then, over. Me, that. Per, me personally, you know what I'm saying? I had the, the privilege and the honor of hearing some of the unreleased yeah. music and oh, seeing man. some of the unreleased videos. So oh, I know man. what's up. But for the people who don't know, bro, yeah, nah, I got let some, them know what you coming with. Man. I'm locked and loaded. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely ready to go, ready to shoot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't waiting no more. You know what I mean? It was a couple things I had to do. For one, you know, I ain't put out music in a while. So I had to figure a lot of things out. I had to figure out... The, the 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 money situation too, you know what I'm saying? There like where go. the money come from exactly? All Real these shit. new these new situations. I had to get my um my um what you call that? My YouTube was still tied up through through, through Def Jam, so okay. I didn't, I couldn't oh, I wasn't okay. able to um mm. call that um, monetize my own YouTube and shit. So like, I wanted to make sure everything was right. Everybody with they th their thing is to just drop music, drop music. They don't give a yeah. fuck if I'm if I drop music and don't see a dollar from it. If I drop, I gotta hold on. Whoa, right. I get some couple things together that wasn't. That's a fact. I mean, they don't really see that part of it, but it's cool because when it drops it's just gonna be it's gonna be that good so I, I ain't really tripping i mean but i got some dope shit i mean um i see a couple of people kind of jumped on it already i mean and it's all good because that's what i wanted them to do i talked about it. it was the first one with the visual albums you know what i'm saying they start you know um just making a video for everything and just putting it out Shout like jumping Joel. into Joel's the um, some dope ideas i don't mean to cut you i appreciate he hit me that. 
he hit me randomly like, yo, Pap, listen, man, I see what you're doing with the tune call. This, I'm not going to say the idea he gave me because y'all niggas yeah. be jacking. No, that's yo, a fact. This is what I think you should do. So you, I know when you, with, and, with the ideas, you be you be. No, nah, I, I, I be having mad ideas, bro, and it's crazy. Like, I, I be, not just you, I have any, any time something pop in my head if it's an artist that I fuck with. If it's an artist I don't fuck with, I may DM a nigga that just, something may just popped in my head for art. Mm. And I tell him, yo, I think that's, you know, some do, some don't. Right. I mean, and to each his own, it's all good. But I'm definitely, my brain be going crazy. Like, I wrote, like, three movies when I was in jail. I'm, I'm ready mm. to get through. That's something I'm really, like, I need to get these joints out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, they right. fire. I believe in them, like, mm-hmm. crazy. Like, I mean, I did so much. But it's like, you know, that's a whole different lane. Right. So I'm just trying to find the right people to get that get that in their in, in their hands and get it out there. But one of them is, like, I'm telling you, the idea is crazy. Somebody better holler at me because whoever get this joint, mm-hmm. whoo. It's, it's, nah, me too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, me too. I got some ideas for some movies. But I feel like when I watch films, man. And I mean movie. I mean good like oh, you basically smart, content, smart. like you oh, know, smart. like like just the, content. Exactly. Oh, like okay, the, okay. the the, the okay. scripted series or some shit like that. Mm. Well, well, me personally, you know what I'm saying, just to share with you some of my ideas. The, on the movie side, man, I feel like a lot of the movies they they telling the same stories, man. No disrespect yeah. to nobody out there, but that's just me observing. So I got some interesting movies. That I um it's that I got void. coming, man. It's Real definitely a, it's a void and yeah, just like it's a lot of untold and, stories and, and, man. in our content anyway. Just like I mean the the the, the boys in the hood type of that type of content. It's a, it's a big void. It's like a it's a whole wave of that. That's why our power and all that is so strong because the fifty really came and really came. filled that void. You know what I mean? But it's still so much of it left. You know it's so much, it's so of, much it left, of it man. left and untouched. I That's crazy. Lot, man. It's so much of it left <laughs> and untouched. So, much, crazy. so many untold stories. Y'all telling yeah. the same stories out there, man. No, it's I, crazy. I, I'm, I'm seeing y'all. 